Can you repeat it again? Excelente. Excelente. Oh, I'm behind We don't pronounce we don't pronounce the the X. You make your your limit, you drink a lot, you you I think Spanish people have a lot of slangs for being drunk. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's true. Hello. Hello! I'm Daniela from Brazil. I'm Andrea from Spain. That the most difficult part about learning Spanish is the Portuño. I'm gonna say words in Portuguese that I think are Spanish, but are actually Portuguese uh, with a okay. Spanish accent. I think for me it would be the pronunciation. Portuguese is really rounded and soft, <gasps> but and I think it's difficult. You're singing a Brazilian song so beautiful. Because I really go for like it. go for it. We need to hear. It. I don't sing. We need to hear. I don't. Yeah. It's a song called Boa Sorte from Vanessa da Mata. Okay, something like. Eso isso, não te majeito, acabou, boa sorte. Oh, sweet. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> I love it. Oh, so sweet, so sweet. I love it. Your voice is beautiful. In Spanish, we say vino. In Portuguese, we say vinho. Vinho. See, it's, it's softer. It's so much softer. I like Spanish a lot. I think yeah. sometimes in Portuguese we take Spanish words and we put an H in between. <laughs> when you put the H, it changes. It changes, but, but the sound is like, or ñ. Yeah, ñ. Like viño. 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 Yeah, it's different. <laughs> Vinho. So, Sounds like a name. Vinho, yes. In Korean. Korean name. We have this H thing that if the H is after a C or after an N, after L, many letters, it changes the sound so you read them together. It's not Vinho, but the N gets together with H and we have this sound. Instead of No, it's Nyo. Nyo. No. Ah, so you you have to pressure with the tongue up. Yeah, exactly. Tongue like, up. No. No. Yeah. Vino. Vino. Ah, so it, uh, now I understand why you say it's different from no the Spanish no because mm -hmm. no is more nasal. Nasal. Mm -hmm. Yeah. In Spanish, we say goma de borrar. We just say goma normally. Really, goma? Like as in goma, goma, yeah. borra? Because it's, it's plastic and chewy. It's right? like a gum of yeah, of goma, borracha. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, so in Portuguese we say borracha, 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 borracha. So the double R has the ha sound, the H sound in English. So that's why instead of borracha we read borracha. It's difficult for you to pronounce that. Ra sound like mm -hmm. no. Ra. Ah, so it also in we the... have some words, oh, yeah, okay, yeah. Okay. but it's just not this case because sometimes we have one R, sometimes we have the bar. In this case, the bar, so it's H song. For me, has another <laughs> another meaning. A girl that drunk a lot. Are you drunk? So estás borracha, but it's feminine. Mm -hmm. I will ask my friend. Are you say drunk? borracho. Borracho is for is the masculine, mm -hmm. and borracha borracho. is a feminine. In Spanish we say mono. In Brazil we say macaco. But you macaco. said mono was like how you talk about someone cute. And yeah, that is a slang. So it's slang. you're literally calling yeah, because the macaco. Mono, mono has. We saw in another program that mono has many meanings. Yeah, it's a word like a little bit more complex. But everybody, the first meaning is going to be monkey. Is going to be macaco. But also macaco for me is familiar. It's, it's not something weird. Macaco also has sense. Thank you. <laughs> no, because I appreciate I, it. I think it's uh, also. I think in Spanish we uh, we use maybe I'm, maybe more like a scientific word. Yeah, or? I'm. I'm maybe I'm wrong, but I, I have the impression of listening in, in some like documentary like this mono belongs from the macaco family. I don't know, mm. but. But, or also when they want to use, an, they don't want to repeat all the time, mono, mono, mono. Oh, as a synonym. Yeah, yeah okay. a synonym. So it's like more professional. That could, more pro yeah, it, it's <laughs> more professional. Yeah, because <laughs> imagine if the documentary, it's talking about monkeys and all the time you're saying monkey. So they mm -hmm. use different words. They say macaco, right. mono, simio. Mm -hmm. Or maybe the specific type of monkey, like chimpanzee, chimpanzee, orangutan. Mm -hmm. or...
In Spanish we say morado. In Portuguese we say roxo. I guess you were not expecting them. Roxo. Roxo. Instead of roxo. Yeah, rocho. I would say roxo or roxo. Roxo. Roxo, I would say, I guess. Morado, does it come from like leaving? Do you have the verb morar? No, I understand. Because I, in I Portuguese, morado comes but, from like morar. Do you uh, understand that word? Yeah, but uh, we don't use it. I mean, morado for us normally is more the color. And it's also used in the slang. For example, you ate a lot or you drink a lot and they say to you, oh, te has puesto morado. Mm, like, okay. you make your, your limit, you drink a lot, you... you yeah. I think Spanish people have a lot of slangs for being drunk. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's true. In Spanish, we say excelente. In Portuguese, we say excelente. Okay, I'll repeat it again. Excelente. Excelente. Oh, I'm we don't pronounce. We don't, we don't pronounce the c c the X. It's just excelente. It's like an S. It's es like an S. Yeah, es our X is like an S. Excelente. Okay, how would you pronounce the C? C. C. So, excelente. excelente. Probably similar pronunciation, but we, we spell it with an S. Esquisita means like weird. You know that? Oh. Like strange, weird. Like that girl is ex esquisita. We can use it in that meaning too, but when something is ex exquisito or exquisita is because it's very special. You know, oh. that's what makes it difficult to learn Spanish. <laughs> Like it's very similar and we can understand each other and I've, I've learned somewhat uh, South American Spanish because I live close to other countries in South mm. America. But you know, sometimes you get so confused because you want to say like exquisita, thinking it's exquisita because it would only make sense, right? And then it doesn't mean that and I'm like, damn it. In Spanish we say sandia. In Portuguese we say melancia. Melancia. Sounds like melon, but with a feminine touch. That's what it is. So melon, melancia. I oh. do think it comes from something like that. Sandia. That is less harder to pronounce. Melancia. <laughs> because it kind of sounds Spanish, melancia, doesn't it? Melancia. Well, I think we don't pronounce the A. Right. Like, I will say more plain sound, like melancia. I have to change a little bit. I love bit. this. It's <laughs> so beautiful. The difference melancia. will be Melancia, if I read read it in a straight Spanish accent. But if you say it like that, we're gonna understand actually. Oh, really? If you go to Brazil and like, I want one melancia, and then they're gonna, definitely gonna understand. Melancia. We are used to, to like listen to Spanish somewhat, depending on where you are in Brazil. You know, I've spoke <laughs> Spanish with other people, but it's not a word I think I've ever used mm. in a conversation. Because yeah, not the, it's not a daily no, word. Not a daily word. Maybe I was like, summer, hey, yes, are you eating sandia? Yeah. I, I don't think I've ever actually used that word. Okay, so one thing I wanna ask you is I know Spanish has a, a wonderful way of telling the days of the week. Can you tell them that? Why wonderful days? Because it sounds beautiful and the meaning behind, like it has a, you know. Lunes, martes, miércoles, jueves, viernes, sábado y domingo. So it comes like from planets, right? Yeah. I think I, if we do another video, I will be progressing my mm, Portuguese mm -hmm. because I'm very curious about the pronunciation. Actually, I think it did pretty well. Yeah, it's a language that I want to learn, uh, actually. So that's why I'm curious about it. But I feel not confident because of the pronunciation. As I said, I love Spanish. I want to be like more fluent because I feel like I can understand Spanish speakers. But sometimes I mix it with Portuguese because, you know, it's just way too similar. And then I'm jump. like, what is it again? Is this Portuguese or Spanish? I don't know anymore. Yeah, so. I feel like you helped me a lot today. So today we compare words between Spanish and Portuguese. If you like the video, please press like and comment. Subscribe. Bye bye. See you soon. Bye. bye.